Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Spring Break Powder Racer. That's right, powder racing. This board features Spring Break's Surf Rocker, which is a longer rocker in the nose and the tail with a flat section through the inserts. This is gonna give you stability underfoot with a lot of play and ease of float out in the nose for when you are slashing pow. This board is available in three sizes, 151, 154, and 157. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with cooler temperatures. There was a couple inches of fresh snow on top of perfect corduroy, and I could find pockets of 10 to 14 inches of deep snow, as well as a lot of chunder snow around the mountain and I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board has what can only be described as a loose directional powder surfing flex. So you've got a softer nose, slightly stiffer, and I mean ever so slightly stiffer, midsection, and a softer tail. There is a fair amount of torsional flex to it. This board has a lot of give. At high speeds, that nose does flap a lot and you will feel it underfoot. And the tail is loose as well, so you lose some power out of turns. You'll notice that right away. It makes it really surfy, which is what you would expect from this board. Realistically, the stiff and stable section is just from insert pack to insert pack. And even then, in rutted out terrain, you can still get bucked around when you're fully flat base on top of this board. So with that surf rocker profile, which is flat to rocker, you have a skate style pop to this, which means you don't have to load it up to get it to engage. You can just be riding along and pop. What you do get though, is a softer tail that takes more to rebound when you actually roll back and start to spring. Expect it not to be the quickest, snappiest board out there, unless you're in fresh snow. Then it's all bets are off. This thing will porpoise really well. But on a groomer, you're trying to send a cat track gap, it's a little more delayed. Do you like to swivel and sizzle? Do you like to pow butter? Then I found a board for you. You have this immense rocker section in the nose and the tail. This allows you to just get up on it and butter how you want and it just locks in. And as you've probably heard me say in other reviews, it's like a spatula. This thing just is like whoosh, and you're just sliding around on it, doing its thing. You can really butter with this board with ease, whether in pow or on a groomer. First and foremost, this is a pow board. So carving on it, it's your own discretion. What you need to know is that it's actually slow to engage on the edge just due to the width of the board. It takes a little bit more to fully get it to just engage. Then once it does, it starts to take over right around the front insert and let you just dig in and get zippy as you center flex the board and really drive into it. That really changes the apex of the carve and how you're able to engage it. You will be steering more underfoot than outside the front foot, especially after you've engaged. So just know that it's a slow engagement, but once it's on edge, you can really flex and drive it how you want. Now off the tail, you're gonna notice that sometimes you lose a little bit of power. That's due in part to the flex and rocker back there. It's not a bad thing. I mean, this is a pow board first and foremost. It's not for resort carving and cruising but it will get the job done. I will say that short, tight, quick turns or medium mellow carves where you're really being nuanced and flexing the board really do allow this to shine. It's those deep, hard, aggressive carves that you have to be more calculated with. You can do them. Would I recommend it? No, but you can do them and it will get the job done. So who's this board for? The Surfy Pow Chaser. Someone that's just out there slashing the white wave. There's things I like and dislike with this board. I like the fact that it's a giant surfboard. I like the fact that you can get really slashy with it. What I don't like is the second you get on firm terrain, you start to get bucked around and you lose a little bit of power in drive. Is it the worst thing I've ridden? No. Is it the best thing I've ridden? No. It's a little different and you've got to be one of those riders that wants something like this. Comparable boards, the Endeavor Maverick, the LibTech Double Dip, the Rome Ravine. This has been my review of the Spring Break Powder Racer. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? 
Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowbird. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders on the internet. And if you really want to support us and just help us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, David Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.